The Botswana Accountancy College Annual Golf Day is a corporate social responsibility initiative that the institution undertakes to support its various community engagement projects. Annually, the institution celebrates this event with some of their collaborative partners in the industry. The Botswana Accountancy College continues to actually mesmerize the masses. This institution does the one most wonderful things. They're actually doing their third installment of the golf day. Where they're raising funds. Let's find out what those funds are for and why and how we're enjoying this. Look at the golfers, look at the team. BAC, it's your school, it's mine. The business school, Yabuchan. This year, this reputable institution hosted its third installment of the annual Golf Day. The BAC Golf Day provides just the right platform for companies to socialize and enjoy the breeze from the greens as they tee off. Throughout the day, connections are made and relationships are strengthened over a game of golf and some refreshments. The Monday behind the Golf Day was basically driven by us giving to the community in which we operate, especially for the youth. Um, we actually realized that we've got a lot of youth who need certain skills and competencies for them to leave, just to leave. Um, and we thought that, you know, if we can be able to give them some entrepreneurship skills, if we can be able to give them some sort of leadership skills, and not only that, the eye to spot an opportunity, um, I think that would actually make a difference for them. Uh, so that is the reason why we decided um, this is the right way to do it. The other thing is, the reason why we chose golf was that because we thought it's a very good fit to be able to engage and collaborate with stakeholders at the same time without necessarily having a different event. Uh, so this gives us an opportunity to collaborate with our stakeholders, engage with our partners, and at the same time, you know, give to the community in which we operate and we do it together with them. And I thought that um, it's a very great initiative for us. If you look at the achievements that we've had for the past 25 years, wow, 13,000 plus uh, graduates who are in um, society at the moment. Um, we think that now we really need to leapfrog and double our efforts to have something far much better uh, beyond this. And I think the biggest challenge for us is that there's a, a lot of unemployment for youth. And whatever it is that we do as institutions, including ourselves, is something that have to provide that particular solution. Uh, and therefore, for the next 25 years, starting with the five, right, because obviously it was a strategy we started with five and, and unfold it into other years, we've actually decided that we have to penetrate other markets, right? We have to diversify our products, okay? Uh, we also have to digitize. Uh, there's absolutely no way we can be able to do it the way we've been doing it for quite a number of years, because otherwise we'll be relevant. So digitizing will make it easier for us to penetrate other markets, especially beyond Africa. The goal of the game is to get the ball from the tee, that is the starting point of any hole, to the green and ultimately into the hole as few shots as possible. The hole refers both to the physical hole marked by a flag into which the ball must be sunk and also the entire area from the tee to the green. Throughout the day, golfers not only enjoy the game, but they engage on light exercises as they leisurely stroll around the golf course. The golf day remains a clear testament that BAC continues to maintain excellence in all fronts. In terms of the landscape, uh, especially in the education sector, we, we are aiming high in terms of increasing our programs and increasing accessibility uh, to many, many prospective uh, learners. We are also looking at uh, improving our infrastructure so that accessibility to learning can be done uh, through multiple uh, pathways. For example, uh, virtual learning is one of the things that we are focusing on so that people can access our education uh, uh, through various means uh, and, 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 uh, and possibilities. Yeah. We, we managed uh, to continue to navigate the impact of COVID uh, since uh, 2020 and then we are basically continuing that journey. And the whole idea is for us to make sure that we are able uh, to take 
uh, our learning to our learners, irrespective of the challenges that we, we might actually have. Like I said, the emphasis is more on uh, online learning, which is something that is not really, uh, uh, can, what can, how can I put it? It's not something that not is practice, uh, practi yes, practices yes, yes, yet, yes, yes. but we are beginning uh, to see that we don't have an alternative or any choice but to ramp up our efforts in terms of uh, online learning. The third annual golf day ended with a prize giving ceremony that was meant to recognize and award those who partook in the game. The theme of this year speaks to the role of industry in corporate social responsibility for sustainability. It underscores the significance of your philanthropic deeds and investments to uplift the livelihoods of our fellow citizens. We, are greatly, we greatly appreciate. The tournament's, uh, tournament prize given ceremony presents a valuable opportunity for all the players, sponsors, and other guests to interact, network, and exchange ideas on corporate collaborations, economic, social, political, and environmental issues which will in turn benefit our youth and society. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as we commemorate the BAC Silver Jubilee this year, we aim to strengthen our efforts to capacitate our youth in pursuing innovation and entrepreneurship development from early years through our community engagement initiatives. This will require collective and full engagement of stakeholders across various sectors of the economy, both from the public and private sectors. Through the proceedings from this event, the BAC is able to contribute to the welfare of communities within which it operates. This resonates well with the set goals of Vision 2036 that seeks to achieve prosperity for all. Ladies and gentlemen, we are truly grateful for your dedication to maintain your unwavering and invaluable support for the goal day despite the challenges encountered due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. To the returning sponsors, thank you so much for your goodwill. I take this opportunity to thank you for your uh, continuous uh, generosity. Great welcome and appreciation for all our new sponsors who joined our charitable event for the first time this year. And I will take this time to appeal to those who are left behind to come on board. Your support will go a long way in improving the, the learning of our peoples and the livelihoods of our youth in various communities. It is through your contributions that we will be able to develop nature and assist them to have a mind of building a sustainable ventures that can create employment for themselves and their peers. This will in turn improve socioeconomic status for their families for a better uh, quality of life. Our goal is to transform Botswana into a knowledge-based economy from a resource-based. As espoused in our Vision 2036, with the theme to achieve prosperity for all. On this day, the Botswana Accountancy College also celebrated its Silver Jubilee. Players who put an exceptional performance on the greens were awarded prizes to motivate their passion for the sport. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening we are privileged to have the Honorable Minister Dr. Litsula Tebe who addressed us on the importance and the benefits of industry participation in corporate social responsibility. Indeed, both the private and public sector can co-create, co-produce collectively to provide solutions for the youth and the community. Thank you, Honorable Minister. I'm truly grateful to have Mr. Johannes Motegari, who officially started off our tournament by teeing off at 12 noon today. We also thank him for his warm and heartful opening and welcome remarks. We appreciate his support the guidance and the leadership uh, that continues, he continues to provide uh, the BAC team and management with. Thank you, sir, for paving the way for the prize giving ceremony to honor the players who participated. I trust that this has inspired everybody who is here 
uh, to continue to support this charitable event. Let me take this opportunity to thank Debswana for sponsoring the prize giving ceremony cocktail dinner. Um, as you can see, the big tent behind there, we're really honored to have you. Uh, and we really appreciate and we think that you will continue to partner with us going forward. Let me also take this opportunity to thank Abaricom, Grand Palm for the prizes, Avani Hotel for the halfway house lunch, Just Live for the wines, and ACCA, SEMA, First National Bank, Hilton Gardens Hotel, Fine Foods, Bumani Fund, Zeta Clinic, Curry Insurance, Minad Botswana, Bay Katili, Boffinet, Mesido Investments. I think all of you deserve a round of applause because you've been great to us. Our heartful thanks also goes to the organizing committee, uh, the members, the players, the ushers, the media partners, Prime Time, Yarona FM, Gaps FM, The Weekend Post, Woman to Woman Magazine, and other media that are present as well. To all the players and awards recipients this evening, thank you for taking the time to participate in our fundraising event.